Hey there folks, my name is Dazerin, and welcome to a game called Siren Head. Um, it looks like an old, like, maybe not even PS1, almost like an old DOS game. So we got Wazd to move, examine with the right mouse instead of left, that's interesting. And shift is to run. Alright, let's jump in. No BS, let's just do it. Okay, so we're in first person, flashlight. You can apparently move so fast, the flashlight flips the other way. Oh. I was reported missing. I was sent here to look around for them. Hopefully they're not hurt. Well, hopefully that there there's nothing wrong at all. Okay, so I need to go this way. Do I have unlimited sprint? It's a backpack. Maybe it belongs to the missing hiker. Why leave it behind? That's very loud. Oh, siren head. Looks like there was a struggle. So siren head is over there. Oh boy. More strange scratch marks. Scratches seem to lead up here. Let's see if we can't find them. It seems I have unlimited sprint, which is nice. This seems to be the end of the, the line here. Could that be? I have to get back to the truck now. What? What the fuck? You'll never catch me, Siren Head. I have to get back to the truck now. What the fuck? Is that it? Is that the game? That's the game. What happens if you just... Hang on. Hang on. What happens if you get caught by Siren Head? I'm curious. What happens if I just... Do this? Or does it not trigger until I look at... That. Although I could just do... <laughs> Alright, so what happens if I just go right up to you, man? Nothing? Oh, okay, now you're moving. Oh, hi, he picks you up? <laughs> okay, cool. All right, I guess I'm turning this into a three scary <laughs> games because that was literally five minutes. So, all right, let's move on to the next game. All right, so this is a game called Heartworm. Now, uh, I saw this actually on Twitter and it looks really cool. Uh, I guess it's supposed to be like, take about 15 minutes or so. So let's jump into this and check this one out. I'm kind of excited by this one because I saw some video of it and it looks really cool. So yeah, it looks like kind of like a Resident Evil. Does it use a controller? Oh, it does. It uses a controller. Yes. Ah, oh, it feels good. Okay. What do we got here? Aha, I don't really feel, wait, wait. I don't really feel like watching anything right now. Okay, actually. Clinician's evaluation. Sam, 23-year-old female, average height, weight, no relevant medical history, patient reported insomnia, recurring, intrusive thoughts related to self-harm, harm to others, low self-esteem, obsessive tendencies, episodes of panic, and high baseline anxiety. Patient described these symptoms as chronic and varying in severity, possibly related to traumatic events from childhood. Patient also mentioned social relationships suffering as a result of symptoms. Uh, look normal, heart rate, blood pressure elevated, patient avoided eye contact, appeared anxious, only spoke when queried. 
patient appeared detached, preoccupied with thoughts. Following diagnoses are based on currently available information. It may change as additional information becomes available. PTSD, OCD, anxiety disorder, unspecified major depressive disorder, recurrent, moderate panic disorder, generalized anxiety disorder. This is actually pretty, like, good. Need to gather more information. Patient referred to psychiatrist for further evaluation and urged to follow up at clinic in seven days. Patient encouraged to research exposure therapy. Wow. Okay, so that's actually like that. That like was pretty clinically like accurate. So I'm actually pretty pleased with that. Picked up the VHS tape. All right. Let's put it in our uh, our VHS player, our VCR. Let's see what's on it. Okay. Now this is just a demo. I need to also emphasize. So. Are we getting about to get exposed to what you're anxious about? I like that, like, you could you'd phase through her face. That was funny. Oh. I still can't run. There's no running. Do you remember? So shift is just not working for run. So hopefully that will be introduced to us. Ooh. Good sounds. Lock from the other side, of course it is. There, that opens. This wall is covered in deep scratches. Okay, there's something behind there, I'm pretty sure. TV won't turn off. There's a VHS player, there's no tape in it. Is there a tape anywhere around here? Handful of nonfiction novels, nothing particularly interesting. Okay. Maybe we need to go in here. Get ourselves a key. I don't know what the key is for. Hallucinations is a trauma based memory, implications for psychological interventions. Routine information processing involves a process called contextual integration, whereby detailed encoding of incoming stimuli takes place, which facilitates later memory recall. For example, being able to remember who was at your birthday by recalling a full contextual image of the event, being able to remember what happened before and after a specific event due to integration of relevant temporal information. However, during a traumatic event, the need for a quick behavioral response requires rapid information processing. This is achieved through a temporary decrease in contextual integration and a quick response based on a basic bleh, perceptual processing. <clears throat> the provision of a rapid response to danger has the consequence of vulnerability to experiencing intrusive memories of the stressful event at a future date. The reduced contextual processing of the trauma stimuli makes them difficult to recall on a voluntary basis due to the lack of integration which cues with cues which normally facilitate recall. However, the information is typically triggered involuntarily by stimuli, which have a perceptual match to some aspect of the traumatic event, a sound or visual stimuli that invokes memory of the event. Therefore, these within these theories, reduced levels of contextual integration are considered central to the development of trauma-related intrusive memories. Therefore, the intrusions may be maintained through a number of cognitive and behavioral processes, such as avoidance, in order to develop a presentation of PTSD, However, in order to be diagnosed with PTSD, the individual or the clinician is likely to be confident that the intrusions are, in fact, memories of a stressful event. The number of pages are destroyed. In summary, the relationship between hearing voices, seeing visions, and traumatic events continues to intrigue clinical researchers. However, a full theoretical understanding remains elusive. The subgroup of voices and visions, which are directly linked to stressful events, are likely to be responsive to interventions which are based on a well-developed theoretical understanding of reactions to trauma. Damn. Uh, so, as a mental health um, worker, I'm impressed. I'm actually very impressed. Okay, so I can go back out now. Still can't run. I hope that means I don't need to run. Because <laughs> when the moment strikes that I have to run, I don't know the button for it. 
Crash door, the only thing is too small to crawl through. Won't budge, okay. No! Can I go through here? Love these camera angles though. Ooh, that's a bunch of tapes. Herman Hess. He thought that all men trickled away, changing constantly until they finally dissolved while the artist created images remained unchangeably the same. He thought that the fear of death was perhaps the root of all art. Perhaps are also of all things of the mind. <sighs> we fear death. We shudder at life's instability. We grieve to see the flowers wilt again and again, and when the leaves fall, and in our hearts we know that we too are transitory and will search for laws and formulate thoughts. It is in order to salvage something from the great dance of death to make something that lasts longer than we do. Perhaps the woman after whom the master shaped his beautiful Madonna is already wilted or dead, and soon he too will be dead. Others will live in his house and eat at his table, but his work will still be standing hundreds of years from now and longer. It will go on shimmering in the quiet cloister church, unchangingly beautiful, forever smiling with the same sad flowering mouth. Damn. Okay, so do I take one of these? Can I pick up any of these? For there being all these tapes everywhere, you'd think that there would be some kind of interaction here. I flipped the switch. Boom. There we go. What's up here? There was that thing that I saw when I first entered. Yeah, this book. Ooh, there's a cellar. Or some kind of basement area. Looks like some kind of hatch. Doors won't budge. Okay. We'll head back in the house. See if there's somewhere to put this book. Reads like, or looks like a normal book, doesn't mean it's pretty heavy. It's a fake red book. It's pretty heavy. This is empty. There we go. Letter from T. Sam, I tried calling, but your phone is disconnected and I didn't know what else to do. Everyone is worried. Your boss called mom and said you were you stopped showing up. I called Jane, but she said she's not talking to you anymore. I know I haven't always been there for you, but if you need anything, I want to help. What's going on with you? Is this about what happened? It was 10 years ago, Sam. It's not your fault. You can't hang on this forever. I love you. Please call me. It's a weird house. This is a very weird house. Okay. Again. Shift ain't working, so I can't run. Is that is it a TV on a desk? That's what it looks like. That is a TV, yep. What? Okay, so that's heartworm. Do you and again, the first time you realized that one day you were going to die. Do you remember the way that fear went through you, like electricity? The way it consumed your thoughts. The way it paralyzed you. 
Do you remember that day? Don't worry. I'll remind you. To be continued. So again, this is just a demo. But that was really cool. I really enjoyed that. That was really awesome. Awesome. So that's Heartworm, the demo. Um, I'm excited to see the whole game when it comes out, so uh, I'll definitely keep an eye on this. But let's move on to our next game. Okay, so this is called Wrong Turn. It just jumps you right in. You need to find car parts while you're being chased. Oh, okay, apparently that's a dead end. Oh, okay. There's more than one end. Oh, and I ran out of sprint. Lovely. Okay. Okay. This isn't the best handling game. I would like to be able to maybe bring down the graphics a bit here, but I, it just throws you in. There's no selection or anything, so... Car parts. Car parts. Car parts. I don't see any car parts. Just, we'll just look around here. It just, it just threw like a start menu or something would be nice, but it still must be pretty early on in development. So, stop following me. Leave me alone. I'm guessing this is just, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing I need to look around these like pink areas. Got it. Okay. Okay. So yes, I need to look around the pink areas is where I'm looking. Okay. So pink, 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 pink is what we're looking for here. We're looking for pink areas so that we can... Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. I know I saw pink over here somewhere. One car part remaining. Okay. Did I say the name of this game? Honestly, I can't remember. This is called Wrong Turn. Like the movies, Wrong Turn. Uh, I don't see it. I don't see it. Where is it? I don't see a car part there. Wait, there's more pink over here. Oh, so there, there's three locations for them that are randomized, but they could be in numerous pink locations. Okay, I get it. I get it. Let's see if we can't find a piece over here. Oh boy. Nope, doesn't look like there's a part here. Okay. Oh, there's pink all the way out there. Okay. Oh, I think I see a piece. Okay. Get back to the car. Oh, that guy's on my ass now. It's all right. It's okay. Just got to get back to the car. I can do this. I got this. This is in the bag. Here we go. That was actually pretty <laughs> easy. <laughs> but yeah, I mean it's it's a it seems like it's pretty still pretty um early on in development, but eh, it's alright. But that's gonna do it for this episode of the three scary games. I didn't realize I was gonna be doing three scary games, but we're gonna, that's our three scary games for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. You guys are making this channel happen, and I thank you very much for that. And I will catch you in the next video. Thank you.